So welcome to another video tutorial from Polymath Learning Center. Today we are going to teach you the do's and don'ts when dealing with percentages. Alright, so the question is, Sean has 240 beads. 40% 40 of them are green. How many green beads must he buy so that 60% of the total beads are green beads? Alright, so in the first glance, you think that this question is pretty straightforward. Alright, so many students would do this method. Right, they will think that 100% since all of the bits uh, that is 20, 240 bits. Right, so what they will do is the percentage method. Okay, writing 100% as 240. Right, since they are all both percentages that you want, uh, all multiples of 10, 40 and 60 are multiples of 10. You don't have to get 1%, right? You only have to get 10%. And therefore, 240. Okay. Uh, divide by 10. That will give you 24. Alright, so now, then you will find 60%, the difference between 60% minus 40%, that will give you 20%. So you need to increase the, nu uh, the number of green bits by 20%. Alright, so then 20% is simply 24 times 2, which is equals to 48. Alright, and I can tell you that this answer is absolutely wrong. This is the wrong method. Okay? Why? Because you are assuming that by increasing by 20%, alright, um, the number of green beads will become 40 plus 20, 60%. But one thing, one thing is uh, overlooked when you're using this method is that when you increase, when green beads increase, the total bits also increase and therefore all right 100% is no longer 240 okay so this is a big problem all right that's why many students don't seem to get percentages they keep getting it wrong and wrong and wrong again because uh, they're using this percentage method, which is very confusing. Alright, so now I'll teach you the correct method. I'll draw a line here, and this is the correct method. Okay, always try to change your percentage into a fraction so that you can avoid using the percentage method because a uh, percentage method simply is very con confusing. Alright, so 40% uh, will be 2 two fifth and sixty percent is three fifth. If you don't know um, if you don't know how to convert, if you're not very familiar with converting percentages to fractions, you can simply key it into a a calculator. Just just key in a forty over hundred and when you press equal they will give you two over five simplified. Okay, the calculator will help you simplify. But it's good to remember common percentages like forty percent is two fifth, seventy five percent is three quarter, etc. Alright? Uh, okay, so now we will use uh, always use ratio to uh, express your proportion because ratio is the clearest. All right, so now I will have green beads. Okay, I will deal with the forty percent first. The the ratio of the green beads to not green beads. Okay, I don't know what color they are, but I know that they they are not green. All right, will be two is to three. Okay, because this denominator 5 refer to the total. Okay, so if the total is 5, alright, the total is 5, then green is 2 out of 5, then the ones that are not green is 3 out of 5. Alright, this is the ratio I have at first. So I'll just write before ratio. Okay, because I know I have two ratios. So one is before, one is after. Okay, so the after ratio, I'll just repeat what I wrote here, green, not green, and then again total. Okay, so now how many green beads must he buy so that 60% of, of the total beads are green beads? So 60% is 3 over 5. So now uh, the total will be 5 units, the denominator, the, the green beads will be the numerator, 3 units, and then the not green one will be 5 minus 3, 2 units. Okay, so now here we already have the value given to us here. So, um, 
we already have the value 240 bits so we can find out exactly how many green bits are there at first all right so the total is actually 240 so these five units over here is actually 240 so i will just write five units equals to 240 one unit equals to 240 divided by five okay me 48 all right so 48 all right so the green bits will be two times 48 that will give me 96 okay 48 times 2 96 and then 48 times 3 will give me the not green bits all right that will be 140 144 all right 144 so not green will be 144 all right so now here comes the key in answering this question is that you must realize this is a before and after concept where the one that is not green is unchanged look all right you are going to buy some green beads but you are not going to touch the non-green beads right the not green beads are going to remain the same all right so uh, then you will know that this 144 is going to stay as 144 even after you have bought some green beads all right so that this 144 will actually decrease to 60 percent all right or two units when you're referring to this to the new proportion so this two units is actually 144 because it is unchanged all right so 144 divided by two you'll find one unit that'll give you 72 okay so the, the new number of green bits is these three units over here these three units will be 72 times three that'll give me 216 bits all right then you take the after green bits number of green bits minus the before okay that will give you 120 and that will be the answer all right you can see that the answer is greatly different uh, the the answer for the wrong method is 48 and the answer for the correct method is 120 all right so um, this question is a very good question to show you that if you do the percentage method there will be a lot of mistakes because um the percentage is uh, is second nature to to some students to think that oh i can just add 20 percent uh to the green beads and that will be the answer but they forgot that if you add green beads the total wouldn't remain as 240 then your your 10 percent wouldn't be the same amount anymore right so that's why percentages on the surface looks pretty simple but it's actually the hardest of all the proportions which includes uh, fraction ratio percentages decimals all right times and equal relationships are all, all these are uh, and more relationship all of these are proportions and percentages is the most difficult to deal with so we have to change it to ratio so the do's is to never underestimate percentages never keep them as percentages try to change them into fraction and ratio then look at them and say okay which heuristic concept should i use in this case all right in which it is a single subject unchanged question because the the bits that are not green did not change right so all right that's all we have for you today thank you for watching please do not use percentages percentage methods as much as possible no some people swear by the percentage methods but it will cause you a lot of misery if you keep sticking with it all right thank you so much and uh, we'll see you in the next video goodbye